Hey loves, happy Halloween. So today's video is another nail haul. Nail hauls are my favorite videos to watch and I'm so excited to be sharing this one with you as it is my largest nail haul that I've collected over the last couple months and I think I picked up some really awesome goodies that I can't wait for you guys to see. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this quick short intro and if you're watching this on Halloween, I hope you guys have a spooktacular night and if this is past Halloween that you're watching, I hope you guys did have a wonderful night. So if you are interested in seeing all the goodies I picked up the last couple months, keep watching. Bye! Okay, so starting off with Canada Nail Supplies, I got some more tips from a prey, and these are what they look like. They're extremely C-curved and just nice and long. This is a number three. Which, so I use these for my red iguana hand. And this number three is for the middle finger. So the best sizes are number three for the middle, number seven for the pinky, number five for the pointer, and number four for the ring finger. These are the best sizes for my red iguana hand. And I have the four finger hand. So I wouldn't know about the thumb. And then I got a backup of the matte coat from a prey as well. This is a really good matte coat. Then I got a couple foil, or not foils, these are water decals. And I usually draw Pennywise on my client's hands. Um, but I just saw these and thought maybe they might want to use them. We'll see. And then the star of the show, I got some more foils. So I got four of these kind of paisley mandela kind of shapes i absolutely love them i just did a set with these this specific one and it's just so pretty i'll show them all to you so this one's like purple and mint and blue and pink and that one is number two and then this one is number eight. In the jar, it doesn't look very nice, but wait till you see it. How pretty. It's like a teal and orange. Like this one is gonna be beautiful for fall time. And I like it because it's a little more lacy looking. And then number nine, this one is really colorful. This one just reminds me like a headband or a bandana. This one has lots of different colors. Like this would be really pretty for fall as well. We'll just set that to the side. And then this one is number five and it has lots of greens, which I think would be beautiful for fall as well. Oops. Yeah, I love this one. Like how pretty are these colors? Like the bronze and the green and the gold and yellow, this orange. I just love, love this one and the light blues. Yeah, I think this one's so pretty. Between this one and the purple one, these are my two favorite, but they do offer a bunch more and now I'm kind of kicking myself for not just getting the whole pack because if you get all of them in a pack, it's more cheaper than buying them all individually. So that's something I regret not doing. Then I did pick up two of the butterflies, which once again, you can get these in a full pack or just individually. And I wasn't sure how popular the butterflies would be. None of my ladies really asked for butterflies and it was like butterflies were so popular this year. Um, so I just picked up two. So number one looks like a bunch of greens and um, purpley kind of butterflies. A lot of neutrals. Sorry if you can hear my cat. <laughs> so yeah, really pretty. So I, I want to have these in my collection for next spring in case if anybody does want them. And then this one is number five. 
And this looks like more pinks and stuff. I saw this one, which looked like a leopard print butterfly. I'm like, I need it. So yeah, this one, I think I might like more than this one. I'm not sure, but I like to have both of them. And then moving on, I got some brushes. So first off, I love Ugly Duckling striper brushes. They are my favorite, um, but you can get them in, whoops. So you can get them in these fancy type of packaging, but these are way more pricey than just these ones. These are called the student brushes. And I much prefer these. I'm really clumsy with brushes. I don't take very good care of them. So I don't want to spend a lot of money on brushes. And I'm so happy that Ugly Duckling offers these. So there is this one, which is just the detailer. You probably can't tell it there, but it is just super fine hair. And then detailer number two is a bit longer. You can kind of see it right there. It's just a little bit longer. And then this one is the striper and you can see it's much longer. So I love to use these three for uh, hand painting characters or striping on nails. And then these three brushes, um, I wanted to pick up. I love these like slanted type of brushes when I'm doing marble nails or using the art inks from a prey. Um, I don't actually know what this like shape is called, like the edge, edge brushes. Um, but these are my favorite type of brushes to use when doing those marble nails or art ink nails. And I also ruin these brushes quite quickly because that liquid you use to dip brushes in and move it around it really dehydrates the brushes and I'm really careless and don't <laughs> don't really care about making sure they're great so I like to buy these cheap ones I think they're like four or five bucks from Canada Nail Supplies so I bought three backups this one's a little bigger than these two guys but yeah if you guys are looking for cheap brushes that are decent to use for marbling and stuff these ones are great to pick up so yeah that's it for everything from Canada nail supplies okay so next moving into Creata beauty I got a few items here and I may be placing another order so the next clip may or may not be Creata again but this one um, I placed an order for some more foils I am foil crazy these ones look like straight up wallpaper that my great grandma used to have on her wall literally this looks exactly exactly from what I can remember but I just thought these were so pretty especially this one I know we're kind of moving out of um, flowers now with fall being here but at least I'll have these for next year and then this one I just when I which way do I open this this way when I saw this one I was like I need it it's so pretty um where's the end of it I just think that is so beautiful. Like I want this on my nails. So I will have to wait till next spring because this is not very fallish, but I really, really love, love this one. And then there's just some other great ones. Like this one, I bet you could get away for fall. This one you could probably get away with fall. Maybe this one. Um, I'll show you a few of them. I don't know if you guys like to see the foils open. Please let me know. Comment below and let me know if you guys do like to see the foils or if this is just kind of a waste of time. But to me, it helps to see which ones I actually would want. They have a few different packages like this. These ones are from Daily Charm, but now Creata has brought in Daily Charm. This one looks very Hawaiian, which I think would be fun if somebody was getting to go to Hawaii, you know, next year or something with everything that's going on with COVID. 
just ignore how I'm putting those back in. Um, let's see this one. This one's like really weird. It almost looks Halloween-y. Yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't like that. Maybe this one. Yeah, I love the pastels of those. That's really pretty. Let's try this one, because this is the other one I was thinking. I think like this one would be really pretty for the beginning of spring. And I do think this one's kind of fallish. I feel like you could get away for September with them. They almost look like poppies. But yeah, I think that's really pretty. But mainly I wanted it for this one and this one. <laughs> I just, I had to have it for those two. But all of them have like some nice things to them. Like this one could be for fall as well. Let's just check this one out too. These ones are really big flowers. This could be really fun to use. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for the, I'm not even gonna bother putting these in. <laughs> okay, moving on, I got a backup of my Wildflowers Metallic Top Coat. This is actually my favorite top coat to use for chrome nails. I absolutely love it. It's really, really good. Holds the chrome really well. Um, I was so sad when Creata stopped carrying wildflowers and I happened to buy a few backups of this and I was down to like my last little drops of it. And then when uh, Creata announced that they were bringing it back, I was so, so happy. So I had to pick up um, a backup of it. And if I ever hear that Create is not gonna carry uh, wildflowers, I will be buying like 10 of them. And then I uh, got one art ink from the Jewel Tone collection, which I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying the whole Jewel Tone collection. I have all of them except for all the Jewel Tones. Um, and I'm out of my white. I actually used up all my white. So I'm waiting for Created to get that white back in stock so I can buy a backup of it. But this one I was really intrigued by. So I bought this one and now I actually think I may just buy all the rest of the colors. So that was kind of a dumb thing of me because it's cheaper to buy the whole collection than buy them individually like this. And then I bought a backup of my wipes. I already have a backup, but I like when I know I'm about to use a backup, I like to always have another backup. So these are my favorite wipes. They are amazing. Um, yeah, I'm sure all of you have tried these wipes. If you haven't, girl, where have you been? You need to try these. These are the best wipes for nails ever. Um, and then I bought two backups of my Creative Files. I love these. I actually used to just buy files off eBay. They were, they look similar to these and they even say 100, 180. But seriously, these are so much better, like way better quality than the ones off eBay. Even though they look the exact same and they, they're both 100, 180s, these ones from Creator are way, way Way better. Um, I was almost needing to use two files for every client and like obviously I throw them out after. Um, so the value is just it really wasn't there even though they're cheaper. But these ones like if I could disinfect these they could almost be great for two clients. Not that I would. Um, but yeah they are really really high quality. I'm so so impressed. So I bought two pack uh, backups of those and then five uh, buffers. These are my favorite buffers. I use one for every client. Um, they are really reasonably priced. So you could honestly just cut it in half and use, you know, like half of it for every client. What I do is I'll use one side for half the hand and then I'll flip it over, use the other side for the other hand. Um, I like my nails to be really, really smooth when I apply 
apply either the top coat or apply a color on top. I like them to be super smooth, but if you guys don't care as much, cut them in half and you'll get double the use out of them. But yeah, these are the nicest files I've ever used. Oh, and then the star of the show, I think, out of this is these brushes. I have eight. Now I have 10, um, but I love wet brushes. I have been using them for about four five years even. Um, I used to order wet brushes off Amazon and then I saw that the beauty stores started carrying them so I'd buy them from the beauty store and then Create just started bringing them in. And when I saw that they brought in these two, I was like, I absolutely need it. Ursula is my favorite Disney villain. Comment below if you, which is your favorite Disney villain and which is your favorite Disney princess. I love to know. I'm a huge Disney fanatic. Um, but Ursula is my favorite villain. Belle is my favorite princess. Um, and this one is just gorgeous. It's actually textured. I don't know if you guys can make that out in the camera, but it feels feels amazing and I love these um, handles they're they're like the grippy handles so so nice no I did not need these but yes I actually needed them <laughs> and then my best friend she has a little girl and I saw this little mini brush and I thought it was just adorable they had all the princesses or not all of them but they have a good chunk um and since I was getting Belle, I wanted Baby Aspen to have a matching Belle one like me. Not that she'll really understand. She's too little to understand princesses yet. But when she is old enough, at least she'll have this brush. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. So if you are looking for a ton of different wet brushes, Creative Beauty has like every type of style from glitter ones to Barbie to all the like Disney ones um, they just have plain fancy ones so if you're looking for wet brushes Creata is your go-to place I love that they brought wet brushes in um, so yeah as far as right now that is it for Creata if I did place another order that's gonna be the next clip Okay, so I did end up placing another little mini haul from Creata. Um, one of my clients saw my brush and she wanted it, so got her that. And then my two best friends both love Ariel. And I wanted to treat them to getting these brushes because they actually came with me to get my new tattoo. Um, I just got it done yesterday, so I wanted to order this brush for them as just like a little thank you and then I got a backup of my favorite magic gel brush I absolutely love this for just applying uh, gel colors and then eventually when it starts getting ruined I use them as glitter brushes super perfect size for most girls fingernails and then I got this for a new brush this is from uh, light elegance and it is a super tiny, tiny little brush. And the reason I wanted this, I just uploaded a video of the Opre Art Inks uh, part two, and I was making these flowers in them. Uh, so if you haven't seen this video, I will link it down below, but I was doing these flowers and I was saying that I really think this brush would be amazing to do these flowers with and seeing it in person, I totally think it is. So now I need to go and try it out with this brush and then keeping on train with the Opre, I got two more colors. I should have honestly just bought the whole collection of this, um, the jewel tone ones, because now I have three and there's six to a collection. So I should have just bought all of them. It would have been cheaper in the long run, but I got the green and I got the brown. Um, these are beautiful. <laughs> I watched uh, Talia's video when she was swatching them and as soon as I saw the green and brown I was like dang it I need those so yeah 
Then I got a backup of the Clear Jelly Stamper Scrubby Brush. I absolutely love this. Super easy to clean. It's really nice and soft, but not soft enough where you can't get the dust off. Um, a lot of my clients that have sensitive cuticles, they love me using this brush on them. They used to always complain with my more stiffer brushes, but this one they absolutely love. And like I said, it's really easy to clean which is awesome and then I got a backup of my Jimmy gel I only have one client that I actually use this on but I'm starting to run out so I wanted to get a backup and then I got another backup of my fusion 5 I love this gel it is my favorite fusion is my base um, my whole base I use their cohesion I use their gription I use their primer I just got their dehydrator so <laughs> I love fusion as a base and um, I can never have too many backups I'm so scared of running out <laughs> And then I picked up a backup of my Neon Lemon from Magic Gel. I'll show you, it's just a super bright yellow. Um, I am running low on it, so I wanna get a backup. But then I got a new color from Magic Gel. This is Neon Tangerine, so I'm really excited to see it. Ooh, that's beautiful. Um, in person, it looks a little darker than what it's showing. Oh, I really love this. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm really happy with this one. And then I got this new one from Light Elegance. This is Poison Apple. I was looking for a bright racer kind of red. Okay, this definitely is not what I thought, <laughs> but that's okay. It's still really pretty. Um, yeah, I definitely thought this was going to be more of a neon red. It is not, but that is okay. It is still really pretty. This will be great for Christmas time for sure. And Valentine's. This is kind of like a reddish color, but with a hint of pink to it. Still really pretty. So yeah, that, oh, and I got two backups of my preempt wipes. I absolutely love these wipes. Um, I always have a ton of them because anytime I see Creata has them in stock, I buy a few more backups because I don't ever want to be out without these. I do use the spray as well, but I just, I love the wipes just for quick wipe downs. Um, yeah, I just, these are so handy. I just can't say enough good things about them. But yeah, so that's it for the second Create a Haul. All right, I placed one more order at Create a Beauty. I have a problem. <laughs> I buy so much stuff from Create a, um, and it doesn't help that they have like everything, almost everything that I need. So first off, I got some backups of my favorite uh, magic gel, black and white. I use this so much for drawing. Currently, my nails, the black you see is uh, is this right here. Well, not the stamp, not the leopard, just the stripes is this black. And I just love these so much. And then this is my favorite gel brush just to apply color. If you would have watched uh, watch me work video on these nails, I use this brush to apply the colors. I absolutely love it. It's um, the number five brush. It's amazing. I really love this brush. Then I got this. Can you even see it? I don't think you can see it. It is the Opre um, Foil Gel. Yeah, you really can't see it. But yeah, oh, there you can see. <laughs> it's the Transfer Foil Gel. So I 
purchase this because I'm actually getting, I think I'm going to have nine uh, foil gels. Um, yeah, I went a little crazy and bought a whole bunch of different foil gels plus the three that I already own. And I'm going to do a video battle of the foil gels. Um, so I had to get this in my collection and test it out. And then um, I used up all my white opera uh uh, art ink in white um, so I got backup of that and then I got this one color from CJS and it's called the olive green I have I thought I had all the greens but when I was looking through trying to find another color I saw this one I was like I don't have this um, and I love my greens, so I had to get this and then I got this template from CJS um, I think this is so cute. I love these leaves right here. These pumpkins are super cute. Love the bunnies. I think this would be great for Easter, not just fall. Um, yeah, I just think this is so cute. I think this is going to be a staple in my collection. I wish I would have had it sooner. I just saw it, so I was like, oh, I have to get it. All right, moving into Magic Gel. They sent over these new goodies, and I'm so excited. So I got a backup of my favorite current top coat. This is their Tackless Hyper Shine. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is such an amazing top coat, you guys. If you have not tried this, definitely do. It goes over um, stamps, it goes over foils, it goes over chrome beautifully. No chipping. I absolutely love this top coat. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a good try. And I love the packaging. It's so pretty. Then they sent this collection, which is called Bright Up Your Day. And I'm really intrigued. This yellow looks like it could be a mustard yellow, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit lighter, but I can't wait to actually open these and uh, swatch them. This also looks like a chartreuse green, which I would die if it is. I've been looking for a new chartreuse green, so this one I'm really excited for. And then there's three purples, like, yes, please. And then this one looks like it's going to be a great staple for everyone's collection. This one's called Bride's Wish. And it has a bunch of like neutrally kind of colors, which every girl loves her neutrals. And you can never have too many. That's honestly what I believe. Then it looks like maybe a whitish gray and a staple pink, a staple blue, and two glitters. This glitter looks really pretty. So I'm really excited for this collection. I can't wait to dive into that one. And then this is really exciting to me. So this is called their textured elements and it is kind of like a 3D gel. You can see in the photos these uh, these gels kind of look 3D on there. I already have a couple of these, but I have yet to be able to use them. So I'm really excited that now I have like a white and a black. Um, I really want to do a whole tutorial with these, so I gotta get around to playing with them. Um, I will be doing a swatch video on these, so if, it, if this video is up, I will link it in the description bar below, and then I'll have to film a separate video on these, because I really do want to give this a try. So that's everything from Magic Gel right now. Okay, moving on, I got one more order in from Creata Beauty. They sent these beauties over. I'm so excited. This is the Fusion Fall Collection. I have seen Talia's video on these, but I haven't actually seen them in person for myself. I am about to film the swatch review video so I will have this video out before this you'll see this <laughs> so I will link that video in the description bar below if you still wanted to see what these colors look like and my opinions on them but yeah I'm really excited for this fall collection um yeah, I... All right, I moving on into Be Me Beauty. I placed an order during their birthday sale, 
and I wanted to pick up their new nail glue. I was really excited to try this. I've heard great things. Um, so yeah, I had to give it a shot. I actually really love the lid of this bottle because I don't know about you, but I tend to glue the lids to my jars as best as I try not to. Um, and this one has a really good grip on it. So I think it would be easier to, if you do end up gluing the lid, I think this one would be much easier to take off. Then I picked up a couple striping tapes. I know a lot of people hate dealing with striping tape. I personally love it. Like I don't love dealing with it, but I love the look of it. So I picked up a white and I picked up this light gold. Um, I do have a light gold, but I wanted to try it against the beamies to see if there's anything different. And I thought the white would be really fun for Christmas coming up. So I wanted to pick up a couple of those. And then I picked up a backup of my little blinger tool head. So this is their new little bling tool. It's the second one they made. And mine is just starting to get a little worn out. So I wanted to get a backup while there was a sale. And then I got a backup of my brush that I use for all the beamy glitters. And so this is what mine looks like. I have given it some love and it's still in good quality. Like I can still use this perfectly fine. It's just mine's all like scratched up from the couple years I've had it. I just wanted to get a nice new shiny one. This one has no scratches, but yeah, I absolutely love this brush. If you guys do use the Beamy um, leaf glitters, this is a great option to use for applying them. And then I picked up a couple, well, I picked up one chrome, which is a green, and I'm so excited. I have like this multicolored green chrome, but I really wanted just a solid green, and I really love this shade. So I picked up that, and especially with Christmas coming up as well, I think this might be a great option. Then I picked up their little unicorn flakes. And what I really love about flakes is you can use them in a couple different ways. Um, I'm actually gonna do a tutorial with these soon for um, winter nails. So you'll see that coming up. But I really love just leaving them like kind of flaky in the nail, but you can also use them to chrome the nail as well. So these are really universal and they're just so so pretty so yeah I had to pick up some of these I have some from another company but I really wanted to pick up beamies but yeah so this is just a little uh, little haul that I got from beamy beauty okay I moving on into daily charm I am so excited for this okay let's start off with these this is their glow-in-the-dark pigments I got what is this one? So this is gonna go glow green, and this is gonna glow white. I feel like green and white are always like the brightest glows that you can get. Um, I personally love mixing these in with glitter or mixing them in with a solid color. If you do a solid color, you just need the tiniest amount of this. That way your solid color doesn't get too grainy. Um, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm super excited to test these out. These are really good size jars. I'm, I was really expecting a smaller size. So this is really awesome. Whoops. Then we'll move on into the foil gel. So I really wanted all of the foil gels from all the main brands that I, I use. And this was no exception. I've heard good things about this and I really want to figure out the best tips and tricks, the best foil gel, everything I can think of to help everyone be able to use foils as I love using foils. They're my favorite nail art to do. And I mean, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see I do a ton of foils. So if there's ways that I can help people um, be able to use foils easier, I will figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna do a battle of all the foils gels I have so I'm really excited to have this one finally in my collection 
And then I picked up a couple of their little sponge applicators. I love these textured ones to apply chrome. I think these are the best sponges to use for chrome. And then I got one package of these nail swatches. They're like these long black stiletto ones. I'm not exactly sure what I'll use this for, but I just think they are so cool looking. I'm like, I just needed to pick up a pack. I, I will figure out what to use them for. I think they are so cool looking. Then the reason I wanted to place this order the most is for these beauties. These are their tinted glass gels. I'll show you. Whoops. Oh, malfunction there. <laughs> Um, so this one is the pink and they are just like those standard see-through jelly kind of gel polishes. I have a few ideas in mind how I want to use these and I am so excited. I have wanted these for like, I don't know, a year now. Um, in Canada, they they kind of have a high price tag, I'm not gonna lie. So I saw that they were on sale for $50 off um, for the whole collection. So I could not pass that up. Plus I really wanted to try their foil gel. So I was like, you know what, let's just splurge. We're going to get them. And like, oh, I just think the colors are beautiful. I've got a really good a range of colors in this full collection. I can't wait to play with them. Okay. Moving on into Kelsey's claws. I will link her down in the description bar below um, I will also link her YouTube channel She is such a sweetheart. She makes these gorgeous mixing palettes. I absolutely love this I'll show you a comparison. This is the one that I've been using for years um, So you can see this one's a little bigger and it's obviously just so much much more prettier. Um, this one is quite scratched up, quite destroyed, so I'm so happy this finally came in. Now, she custom makes these, so you can tell her what glitter you want, what kind of characters you want. I was gonna go with a Disney character as I'm such a Disney fanatic. I'm literally five years old at heart. Um, and I really wanted like green and Tinkerbell, but uh, she already did a Tinkerbell one, so I wanted to do something different, and leopards are my favorite animal. I thought it would be so cute to get a little leopard on it, and I am so impressed. She drew this by hand, like absolutely stunning. Um, so there is purple, green, and gold glitter mixed into this so eye-catching. I absolutely love it. So it's just nice and smooth. It's so beautiful. I am really, really, really grateful to have this in my collection now. Um, I can't even say it enough. I really hated using that other little one. So this one is just incredible. Then I got a matching little brush holder. How cute is this? It's like a little heart and it matches the glitter that's in here. So what you do is you lay your little brush down on it. That's it. So then the brush doesn't touch, um, touch your table. So I absolutely love it. You can see there's like a little ridge that it sits in. I just love this. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. I can't even say <laughs> obsessed enough. Okay, moving on into Glitter Mix Canada. So I purchased some glitters from them and then they were kind enough to send me over some products to test out and make videos for you guys. So I'm really excited about this. First off, they sent me over foil gel. Everyone knows I love me some foils, so I love to try new foil gels to see what is the best on the market. And then they sent over their Bling It. Um, so this is a type of gel that you can apply those big metal chunky pieces or like bigger um, crystals. I, I'm really excited for this. Now I did try this on my 
my client about a week ago for just like some crystals and so far so good with her. So I can't wait to actually try this with like the big chunky metal pieces and stuff like that. And then they sent over some of these spider gels. I have never actually played with spider gels, but I've seen so many cool techniques using them. And I think they gave me a really good base of colors to use. So I'm really excited to play around with these. So I'll be giving you a full video demo with all this product. But the star of the show has to be these gorgeous glitters. So I'll just run through them with you. Next, I got in a little order from Glitter Boutique Canada. I ordered 15 glitters, and that was me narrowing it down. I was trying to be a good girl. <laughs> um, so I'll just run through these quickly. This is Christmas Star. It has a bunch of these cute stars in it. I really think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. And then I got Here Comes Santa Claus. How fun. I love the green in this. And I'll actually move this one up to the front because this is also a Christmas one. I just think this is so gorgeous. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this like all year round. This one is just beautiful. Then I got Galaxy. This one is stunning. Do you see? There's like a teal, a burgundy. Um, there's like a dark brown, um, a, like a rose gold kind of color. It's absolutely stunning. I love this one. And then I got these two black ones and they are so cool. So this one is Mystique and it has like hexagons, like different size hexagons. And this one is black rainbow dots. So this one has a bunch of different size of dots. So they do look very similar. So I don't think you need both. Um, I guess it's just your preference whether you like hexagons or dots. Um, but they're both absolutely Absolutely beautiful I love them then I these ones I was most excited to get so they're called the majestic um, this crush collection this one is majestic so it has like a bunch of purples and reds in it then we got this copper one so this is really close to a rose gold um, I think it's absolutely stunning so you can see the difference between those two. Then this one is called Royal, and this one has like um, some green, blue, and gold. So you can definitely like see the difference between the two colors in there and compared to the copper. But she has a whole bunch of different colors of these. So if you like this like kind of foiled crush, like they actually feel texture. Like they're really cool feeling. I can't wait to get use out of these ones and then this one I was actually on the fence about getting and now I'm so grateful I did get it because the photo online does not do this justice but it's so so pretty I love the like I love the colors in this so highly recommend this one then I got this one called Granite, and this would have been so perfect for fall. We're starting to get out of fall time, but I'll have it for next year. So it has some blues and golds and kind of a nude color and some dark, like, taupey browns. It's really, really unique looking. I really love that one. Then this one, this is so unique. This is like a matte 
gold, like a yellow gold. It's so, so cool. I honestly can envision using this for, I'd say like Aladdin or Jasmine nails. That's what I like picture with this. Um, yeah, I just love this one. And then I got a couple green ones, which I'm so excited because I love my green. So this one's called Wilderness, and it has some like light champagne-y kind of glitter. Then it's got some greens and some of this dark burgundy brown. Super, super cute for fall again. Like camo nails would look beautiful with this. Same with this green one. So this would also look great for camo. Um, it has like... It's like the darker version of this one. It has like dark greens, a little bit of lighter greens, and it has that dark burgundy brown and that same champagne-y gold color. So as you can see, this one's much darker, but they're both so pretty and serve a purpose, purpose in my collection. And the last one is Fine Wine. Oh, this one is so like eye-pleasing. It's got your burgundy, this matte kind of pinky color, like it's a salmon-y color. And then this champagne gold. These look so beautiful together. I absolutely love it. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one as well. So yeah, that's all the glitters I got from Glitter Boutique Canada. Um, yeah, I love her glitters. If you if you like glitters like this, um, she does offer a whole bunch of different type of glitters and I almost own all of them. Um, I do have a video up showing all of the glitters. I will link that in the description down below. So if you are interested in seeing more, um, highly recommend watching that video. Okay, but yeah, so moving on into Magic Gel. Some of these items I purchased from Create a Beauty and then some of them they were sent to me so I could test them and swatch them. Them for you so huge thank you to magic gel for doing that um, so first I'll show you the stuff I purchased I got a backup of my never my number seven flawless brush um, you can use this for color or to just apply your clear gel um, I love it for both and then I got a backup of the gel I'm actually thinking of switching all my clients to magic gel it is amazing Amazing. Um, formerly, I've always used Fusion, but I just really love the Magic Gel base. Um, I got their little primer, and I know this is really weird, but I actually really love this bottle. It feels so nice in the hand, and the packaging is just beautiful. Um, yeah, so that I got and then I got two backups of their shiny coat it's my all-time favorite so got a couple backups of that and now for what they sent me first they sent the new foil gel that they have um, anyone who knows me knows I love foils I do so many foils in the spring and summer um, though this year it kind of got cut short with COVID I didn't get to do much spring nails but I am really excited to have this foil gel to test out for you guys and along with that they sent over some of their little foils and this is really cute it's all those like iridescent ones and this one right here is just so eye-catching I absolutely love that one so I'm definitely going to be doing a full separate video on this and then I'm really, really excited for this. It is a matte top coat, you guys. I have loved their shiny coat for so long, and I just kept thinking they need to come out with a matte coat that's equally as amazing as their shiny, and I think they've done it. Now, as I'm filming this, I have not tested this yet, but I really have no doubt that this is not going to be amazing. So I'm really, really excited for this. Um, yeah, I will keep you guys posted. I will use it in tutorials. Um, I probably will do it, uh, use it swatching these. But yeah, so I just had to share this, or had to tell you guys about this. 
So then they sent over their brand new collections for the gel polish. Um, so the first collection uh, has a bunch of more neutral tone colors, which I'm going to get so much use out of this. This one is a little more exciting. It has a bunch of colors in it. Um, sorry, my camera keeps unfocusing. But this one has a green and I was talking to one of the educators from Magic Gel and she was saying I'm going to love this green. So I can't wait to open that up and check it out. Okay, um, moving on into Canada Nail Supplies. I got a few goodies from them. So I picked up this template, which is number 168. And I really like these like little suns and moons. I think that's super cute. And this little bunny would be perfect for Easter. So I wanted to get this one. And then got a little Halloween one. Once again, I really love this moon right here. And it just, and these eyeballs are kind of cute. I don't know if any of my girls will want them, but I really do want to use them. So I may just do like a set on my red iguana hand for those. And I like this little hand right here. And this skull is really nice. So actually that witch is super cute too. <laughs> Maybe I want to use her on my nails. I was thinking of doing a Halloween set on myself next. Um, I am going to be filming a watch me work on my nails and one of the ideas I had was to do a purple and black set that has like witches. So that one might be super cute to add if I do that set. Oh, and I don't know if I said, but this one is H56. And then I got this one, which I thought would be so perfect for Christmas. And, um, you know, like November, it has um, sweater nail templates, like especially that one. I can see myself getting a lot of use out of. And how cute is this cat? I just think this is so adorable. So I really feel like for like wintry and Christmas nails, like the sweater nails, I think this one will I'll get a lot of use out of. And that one, where is the number? Oh, right here. 96. And then this one is a bunch of Halloween stuff as well. I wanted this one because I really love this bat template right here. I think this would be so cute. And I also love these stars. A lot of my clients love stars on their nails. And I thought when I saw this one that it's a full nail template, I thought that would be perfect. Because a lot of the star templates I have only have like a little tiny spot or I have to stamp individual stars. So this one, I was like these two right here made me want to buy this template and I like this little spider web I love this cat right here and that one is H43 so yeah these bats are just so cute I really want to use those on my nails too <laughs> I wish I could do like four Halloween sets but I just do not have time for that but yeah this one I'm really happy I got and then this one, I wanted it for this full nail spider webs. I thought that was such a nice template. And I could just see like a fuchsia purple with black um, spider webs. Oh, I just visioned that and I feel like it looks so nice. I also love these roses right here I thought would be really pretty. And these really unique looking bats I thought were really cool. So I felt like this one had some really cute stuff that I could definitely use. Like this skull looks really cool. So you can see kind of the ideas. This is not showing up, but this is red with black on top, if you can kind of see it there. But yeah, I'm really happy. I love this. I can't wait to use that. 
but I don't know if I showed you guys. Again, here we go. H59. So those are all the new templates I got in and I'm really, really happy with all of them. Then I got a backup of my cuticle oil from Ugly Duckling. This is what it looks like. I heard that Ugly Duckling is discontinuing this. Um, I saw it on some Facebook feed and I literally broke my heart. This is my favorite cuticle oil. Um, some nail suppliers are completely out of this. So if you can find this, you guys, you have to get it. It is the best cuticle oil. I have like 10 in my drawer and I don't even bother using them anymore. I strictly just use this. I absolutely love this stuff. So if you can get your hands on it, get it. It's worth it. It's really, really worth the cost. And it's just so beautiful to look at. And then from Opre, I got another backup of their No Wipe Top Coat. I only use this when I do the art inks. Or I, yeah, I only use these when I use the art inks. Um, other than that, it's a great top coat. I just, I only use it for the art inks. And I have used other ones, um, other top coats with the art inks, and they all work. I don't know. I just like using like cohesiveness like all the opera stuff together so got a backup of that and then the star of the show i am so excited to try this out i'll be filming a full video using this and if that video is already up i will link it down below but this is called their drop gel and from what i've seen you can do some really cool marbling effects with it so i'm super super excited to get this and then i also got one of their brushes so I just felt like this looks so bougie. This is like matte with this long handle. Like, look how long that handle is. It's just so pretty. So it's a super thin, thin brush and it with a little rounded head. So I don't know if you guys saw my Art Inks um, video, the part two, where I made the flowers. If you did not, I'll also link that down below. But that video, I was talking about different brushes to use. And I truly think this brush is going to be perfect for that style of, uh, like that style to use the Art Inks with. So if you were interested in, in doing the set that I had did with the flowers and the art inks and you were looking for a brush, I really think this one is going to be perfect for that. Let's get my camera to focus. Oh man. It just says that. I don't see any other number. Okay, does this have a number? No, I think that's what it is called, gel brush. Yeah, but yeah, so I will keep you guys posted when I test this brush out using that design. And the last thing I got is some backups of my Swarovski crystals. I love this color so much. It's like a pure yellow gold. Absolutely love. This is the name of them. I just love this. So I have a ton of the bigger ones, but I ran out of these little guys. So, and with Christmas around the corner, everybody gets gold. So I thought I better stock up on some of the littler sizes. Um... If you guys have not gotten your hands on this shade, trust me, get it. I know not everyone loves yellow gold, but this is just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. I love the metallicness of it. It's really, really beautiful. And like I said, it's perfect for all year round, but for Christmas, like red and gold and green and gold, like even blue and gold, it's just so pretty. And yeah, this gold is just perfect for that.
Okay, and the last thing in this video is the mother load. This is from Creative Beauty. It was sent over to me so I could swatch and test it for you guys. I am so excited. First, they sent over the new Fusion um, Halloween collection. So it is just four colors and they are much smaller than the normal size but this is perfect because usually um with collections like this that are only for halloween it's kind of hard to get use out of them um yeah so i think this is perfect so i will be doing a full swatch video on these and then dun 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 I am so excited. Look at this mother load of beautiness. This is the whole collection from Light Elegance. It's all their new gel polishes. Um, I actually never previously tried their gel polishes, so I won't be able to compare them for you, but uh, I've heard amazing things on these reformulated gel polishes, and I am so grateful to Rob at Creata and the Creata team for sending this over so quickly so I can get a video up for you guys. Uh, like some of these colors look incredible that and I know just reading these I don't have some of these colors um, so that's really exciting. I absolutely love champagne. That is one of my all-time favorite glitters. So it's really awesome that I'll be able to at least compare it from the potted jar to this. For you guys, I'll be able to do stuff like that. But yeah, so keep a watch for this video. Thank you so much for watching this massive haul video. Um, this was a lot of goodies for me to receive. Now I have to go and film individual tutorials for all of them. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.